Allergial syndrome is a relatively rare condition that can sometimes crop up in both the clinical and the written exams. So the first thing to know about allergial syndrome is that it's caused by a microdeletion of 20p12. This gives it an autosomal dominant inheritance and the gene mutation it's associated with is called the JAG1 gene, which is jagged gene 1. And this is found in over 70% of children with allergial syndrome. As I said, it is quite rare and has an instance of 1 in 100,000 live births. Although it's a multi-system disorder, there are three areas that you may find that are affected. The first is the liver, and the main problem in the liver is to do with relative paucity and destruction of the bile ducts. So if you remember back to your portal triad, you'll remember this is formed of the portal vein and the hepatic arterioles, which travel one way across the sinusoid, and the bile duct, which goes in the opposite direction. And these three are multiplied numerous times within the liver and are what give the liver its function. In allergial syndrome, there seems to be an inflammatory process which goes on and causes progressive destruction of the bile ducts. So the bile ducts are either very small and narrowed and therefore aren't able to function or are eventually destroyed altogether. The extent to which this happens is highly variable so that some children will just have liver impairment but others may need to go on and have a transplant. Allergials is, as I said, a multi-system disorder and the other key system involved is the cardiac. It's quite often associated with pulmonary stenosis, which you will remember gives you a systolic murmur heard best over the pulmonary area, but it can sometimes also be associated with tetralogy of fallow. There are characteristic facial features as well in allergial syndrome. Children tend to have quite a broad forehead with a relatively small chin, so there's almost a triangular appearance to the face. Other systems can also be affected. It's not unusual for children to be quite small or to have IUGR during pregnancy. It's often associated with some developmental delay. The renal system can also be affected with some renal impairment. You may find that there are changes to the vertebra, so that there are butterfly vertebra or hemivertebra seen on x-ray. There can also be eye involvement. Sometimes there are associated metabolic problems, such as pancreatic insufficiency, hypothyroidism and raised cholesterol. Like all multi-system disorders, I always get very confused about exactly what goes with what. So for me, the main things to remember in allergial syndrome are these. It is a genetic disorder, and over 70% of cases are associated with a JAG1 mutation. It's rare, with an instance of 1 in 100,000 live births. The three key features you may come across in the exams are liver impairment, due to progressive destruction of the bile ducts, cardiac involvement, which will normally be pulmonary stenosis, and the characteristic facial features.